Hello guys, Brian here again with another fragrance review. Once again, from the house of Fulton and Work. This time we have Highway 190, which is classified as an Oriental Woody. And uh, the top notes on this one are orange, pink pepper, and freesia. Middle notes of myrrh, labdanum, and cypriol oil. And in the base we have vanilla, cedarwood, and vetiver. Now Highway 190 was inspired by the drive through Death Valley. So apparently Highway 190 is a road, stretch, stretch of road that goes through Death Valley. We all know Death Valley is the hottest place on earth. It's a very hot desert type feel to it. I guess if you're driving your uh, red Porsche through Death Valley with the top down and the air is blowing in your face through your hair, this is the, the type of vibe they were going for. Personally, I would probably have the windows rolled up and the air conditioning on maximum, but that's my preference. But if you're someone that likes that desert blast of air in your face, maybe that was the vibe they were going for. So I'm not really sure how accurate, once again, that the smell is towards the Death Valley thing. But uh, let me just tell you what I get out of it. Um, first of all, it does have that myrrh note in there, so you're going to get an incense smell. So this is an incense fragrance, definitely. But uh, the other thing about this fragrance is that it has orange in it. So an orange incense, maybe even like an orange blossom incense, because the freesia is the floral note in this fragrance. Um, so yeah, a slight floral, but mostly an orange incense smell here. Kind of reminds me of when I was a kid, go to Spencer's. Got some, buy some of those uh, incense sticks or incense cones, maybe like the orange flavored ones, and light them up in the bedroom. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I get here. Now, people compare this fragrance to Oud for Greatness and Baccarat Rouge. I haven't tried either one of those two fragrances. Uh, the one fragrance I have tried that this one sort of reminds me of is um, a fragrance by our old friend Kerosene, his original fragrance called uh, Rude Elements, if you've ever smelled that one. That one also has like an orange incense smell to it. So I think if you like the uh, root elements, you'd probably like this one as well. Um, I have a small decan of root elements. I still have it after all these years. Um, it's not something I really grab for. I mean, I'm not really a big fan of like incense fragrances for like work or things like that. Maybe a touch of incense in some of my fragrances, but not really anything with a dominant incense smell. It's not something that I normally uh, reach for myself but uh, i guess a lot of people do seem to like this one a couple videos i've seen seem to uh really promote this one and say it's a great fall fragrance so but let me get into my final scores for the fragrance the smell i'm gonna say six and a half out of ten an okay smell but uh maybe a bit too incensey for my taste i do prefer my fragrances more of the woody blends like they had like the lost man and the ramble those types of fragrances were more of my preference uh, but if you like the orange incense smell, definitely check this one out. Projects longevity. I went pretty light on this one. I heard it was a pretty strong fragrance. So we'll say five to seven hours. I just did a few sprays on my sample. On this one, it seemed to be fine. Nobody would really say anything about it. I didn't choke anybody out, apparently. So we'll say eight out of ten for projects longevity, versatility. I'll say six and a half out of ten. I can see this being a year-round fragrance. The orange for the spring and summer and the florals. The incense for the cooler weather, fall and winter. But... Uh, Incense, like I said, isn't really something that I can see wearing a lot of, personally. But if you love incense, this could be a good choice for fans of incense. Uniqueness, I'll say uh, 7 out of 10. Like I said, only a few fragrances really good for this type of smell. Um, price point, typical 50 ml pricing, $205 for the extract de Parfum. Overall, for me, 6.5 out of 10. If you love incense and orange together as a fragrance, you will definitely like this one more than I did. But it's okay. I probably won't buy a full bottle of this one. But uh, it'll be fun to try and wear for a few more days at work. So thanks for watching my review of Fulton and Works um, Highway 190. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.